what's up my beautiful beautiful people well here we go it's time to share <sighs> so uh, this is what i wanted to talk about let's talk about sex <laughs> all right so sex 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 what am i talking about here sex we all i'm sure love it you know it is definitely a way that we are able to express how we feel about you know a loved one or or not it could just be a way that you can express a certain type of energy that you are trying to let out right but speaking of energy so sex is a highly highly energetic act okay it comes to a point where it's no longer well for some it comes to a point where it's no longer about just getting off you know when you understand how strong the sexual energy is you really should come to a point where you respect it more and you utilize it for certain things. So, for instance, um, like with masturbation. Yes, masturbation. I'm sure we all grown, so whatever. <laughs> but... Um, Usually when people masturbate, they usually have a very highly sexual image in their head and you fixate on this image or you could put something on the TV, you know, get you a porn or something and you cut it on and you, you get this, this image fixated in your head and then you go to fantasizing about you know, if you had somebody with you and what you would be doing and all that kind of stuff. So if you keep that in mind of how powerful it is when you can just place an image in your head and be able to, you know, orgasm that way, think about when you get to a point where you start to utilize sex to manifest and a lot of people may call it sex magic. Um, and that's fine because that's, I, I consider that's exactly what it is. You should be able to come to a point where instead of when you orgasm, it's just an act of releasing, you should be able to come to a point where you no longer have to fixate on a person you should no longer have to fixate on a specific image in your head to get yourself off. It should come to a point when you realize how strong the sexual energy is and, and that act of or orgasms, um, you should be able to fixate your mind, I'm going to just say money, because everybody wants a little extra money, everybody can use a little extra money, right? You should be able to use that same energy when you go into masturbating. Instead of thinking of someone, think about some money. Think about what you would do with that money. And if it's not money, it could be you want to progress on a different level of your spirituality. So... You would fixate in your mind yourself and you're seeing yourself leveled up in your mind and you fixate it and you got it and you can see it and it's clear and you could use that image, yes, while still masturbating, you could use that image and when you come to a point when you're ready to release that image is still fixated in your mind. So it comes to a point where it's no longer sexual. It's no longer 
you know, you shouldn't have to use the porn or you shouldn't have to. No, I get it. If you using it for that and you just like, fuck it. I just need, I need to get one out real quick. I totally understand that. But I'm saying coming to the next level of when you orgasm. Use that energy to manifest some shit because it is so powerful. I have manifested quite a few things with using that technique. Like <laughs> the list goes on and I'm definitely not <laughs> going to get into detail, but I'm just saying like the, the act of sex, we all know that it's a, it's a strong form of transferring energy. And if you know that, for instance, you could have had men, women, let's say you were having sex with somebody, multiple people at that. And then you wonder why weeks later, maybe even days later, you feel in some type of way. You feeling kind of down, you feeling doubtful, you feeling confused, and you're not understanding why you feel that way. It could very well be that the person that you decided to lay down with have some unresolved issues and unresolved traumas within themselves and they used you, used your body to transfer that energy out of them into you. It is very possible. Very, very possible. I spent a, a large chunk of my life wondering why when I dealt with, with a specific person or even other people for that matter, that I would feel just like, I would have days where I just didn't feel right. And I'm like, damn, what is wrong with me? Why do I feel like this? Why do I? But now I understand why. It's because that person was able to transfer their energy into me. And then me not knowing back then how to transmute the energy. So now I'm holding on to it and not, not understanding what was happening. So now that I know what I know, it is definitely a practice. If you are in a relationship or if you're with somebody and y'all are, you know, pretty exclusive when it comes to only y'all are having sex with each other, try it out. You know, set some intentions before you go into the act, right? What do we call it when we are getting ready to, uh-oh, two, two, two. <laughs> when we are getting ready to have company, what do you do? You set the mood, right? You light candles, you got your soft music playing, you probably got some nice little food or some little fruit or whatever set out for your partner. What are you doing? You're setting intention to, to create the vibe, the vibration that you want for that night. You're setting a mood. This is the same shit. You set the mood, you set intention with that person before going into the act. Y'all have a conversation. It ain't gotta be all weird. Have a conversation. What is it that you want to manifest? You know, is it a new job? Is it starting a new business? Do you want to um, bring forth the energy of um, finishing a book or whatever the case may be? Set the mood, set the intention before you have sex with somebody. Have the conversation. What are we bringing with this energy that we're about to combine together? What are we bringing into fruition with this sexual act that we're about to take part in. And just try it. I don't care if you gotta write shit down and then, you know, oh, and also, not just set intention and just leave it. During the sexual act, try to keep, <laughs> try to keep the intention clear in your head when you orgasm. 
So instead of, I mean, so it's kind of like you're going to be taking your attention off your partner. But whatever, because both of y'all should be concentrating on what you want to bring in with that sexual act. So as soon as you, you know what I'm saying, is getting good and it's feeling good and it's you about to release, you need to be thinking about that money that you that you you about to bring in. You need to be orgasming and you need to be thinking about that book that's written and published and top sellers list. You need to be thinking about bringing in some type of personal enlightenment if you want to level up on your journey. You need to be thinking about those things when you orgasm. Both of y'all need to be thinking about it because it's like a big combustion of energy coming together. And then when it's, when it is released, that is putting it out in, into the ethers like, okay, boom, it's mine. It's done. It's done. Now I ain't even going to get on like semen retention for the men because I know that it, that the semen is the life source. For men, and I do know that it can be very, very powerful if y'all do not release. But I ain't done a whole lot of studying on that, <laughs> so I can't really speak on that too much. But I do know enough to know if you can hold it in, brothers, hold that shit in. <laughs> hold it in and continue to focus on what you want to bring in with that sexual experience. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today is sex and how to use the energy to benefit you and also know who you laying down with. I ain't saying just go fuck a whole slew of motherfuckers and <laughs> but if you do that's you. It ain't my business, but I'm just saying Respect the, the sexual energy. Respect it. And a lot of people shun on masturbation and a lot of people shun on... I don't. I don't. Because I know and I've looked into it and I have participated and I know that you can get some shit done with intention when you masturbate and when you have sex with someone. It's all about keeping your mind focused on what it is that you want to bring that's going to be tangible you're bringing in that energy with the sexual act so that's all i want to talk about today children tune in next time when we talk about whatever the hell i want to talk about <laughs> all right so i hope y'all are having a beautiful beautiful day and i will be back with another video whenever it's time <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace.